I'm back <laughs> because I am reading in Ezekiel. I have not finished yet. There are 48 chapters and we are only on chapter 19. Chapter 18. Y'all, so good. I mean, chapter 18 should be preached across the pulpit at least once a week. We can stay safe with Ezekiel chapter 18. I am so interested in what's happening with chapter 19. So, let's dive in, okay? Okay, I was liking this pen, but I don't like it now because it's not writing. What is wrong with it? All right, so I mark my date right there, today's date. And let's scooch to chapter 19. Chapter 19. I even had to put a highlight on that, y'all. And that wasn't even on my mind to do. So chapter 19. Moreover, take thou up a lamentation for the princes of Israel and say, What is thy mother? A lioness. She lay down among lions. She nourished her whelps among young lions. And she brought up one of her whelps. It became a young lion and it learned to catch the prey. It devoured men. The nations also heard of him. He was taken in their pit and they brought him with chains into the land of Egypt. Now when she saw that she had waited and her hope was lost, then she took another of her whelps and made him a young lion, and made him a young lion. And he went up and down among the lions. He became a young lion and learned to catch the prey and devoured men. And he knew their desolate places, and he laid wait he laid waste their cities. And the land was desolate, and the fullness thereof, by the noise of his roaring. Then the nations set against him on every side from the provinces, and spread their nets over him. He was taken in their pit, and they put him in ward, in chains, and brought him to the king of Babylon. They brought him into holes, that his voice should no more be heard upon the mountains of Israel. Thy mother is like a vine in thy blood, a vine in thy blood, planted by the waters. She was fruitful and full of branches by reason of many waters, and she had strong rods for the for the scepters of them that bear rule, and her stature was exalted among the the thick branches, and she appeared in her height with the multitude of her branches. But she was plucked up in fury. She was cast down to the ground. And the east wind dried up her, her fruit. Her strong rods were broken and withered. The fire consumed them. And now she is planted in the wilderness in a dry and thirsty ground. And fire has gone out of a rod of her branches which had devoured her fruit, so that she hath no strong rod to be a scepter to rule. This is a lamentation and shall be for a lamentation. That is Ezekiel chapter 19. I ask the Lord to open up our understanding, write his word down in our heart and our soul, and um, help us not to sin against his word. So that is it for tonight. I am going to put this in rollers. I didn't put my rollers on tonight, y'all, but I'm going to put them on. I'm about to put them on. And I'm going to be listening to some information about real estate. And I'm praying that the Lord open up my understanding about that. So we first always, always, always want to seek the kingdom of heaven first. Get close to Jesus, y'all. We need them. We need them. So, I love y'all. Night.